All right, so in this video, we're gonna make a, a quick little tutorial on basically how to import an AEDS file in Studio 5000, so that, or basically through your RS link, so that you have it. In this case, you see my um, IO tree over here. You see that the IO tree has question marks. Uh, this is because I've transitioned my project over to um, going to be going to 36. And what I'm doing is I um, basically went to a new VM and it doesn't have my EDS file. So I figured this is the prime opportunity to show how to import the EDS file. Now this EDS file was provided by the actual vendor. Uh, this is in, in basically uh, kind of their proprietary stuff. So just keep in mind, this is an EDS file that you're not just gonna download from a website somewhere you're gonna, you have to get that directly from the vendor, but this does show the process of adding an EDS file. What we need to do is open up our Rockwell software uh, location, which basically is uh, program data, Microsoft, Windows, start menu, and programs, and then Rockwell software. Now, I like to put that on a desktop uh, or that shortcut on my desktop so it's easy to get to. I'm going to go to RS links. I'm going to then go to tools. Then I'm going to go to EDS file uh, hardware install. You can do that right there. And you can also do device description. Now this, again, this is going to be, uh, this VM that I'm using is, is the most up to date right now as of at least as of uh, 3, uh, 23, 2024. So I'm going to add, right? And then I'm going to come over here and pick where I want to add it from. Now, in this case, I'm going to look into all folders. And this just gives you the variability to look inside of everything that you're going to be. And it looks in encapsulated folders. Uh, it looks in, you know, like say, for instance, if there's several layers of a folder, it looks in that too. So it's very important you, you check that box. Um, sometimes you might not want to, though, but just keep that in mind. And then you go to desktop. Um, I'm gonna pick my wastewater project and then I'm gonna go down to where I have uh, the blowers and then the vendor that I'm using. Then I'm gonna come over here. It's gonna pick, it's gonna automatically find that actual EDS file that was in my previous folder. You see that. Then I'm gonna click next. It's gonna install that. And as soon as it installs that, then everything will populate in here. Um, we'll see that through our RS links as well. So just keep that in mind. Also, I have the, the AOI, which I've already added. So you can see that in my assets over here, uh, you can come over here and see in my add-on instructions or add-on um, instructions right here that I do already have that added. Um, let's look at this though. Let's look, come over here back to links, open up links real quick, just so you can see that the EDS file is there. Um, now this is not gonna populate anything because I don't actually have these devices connected right now, uh, but let's just keep this in mind that, okay, so now we, we see I have my uh, AOR that they have, have given me, I have that in here. And if I open up the logic, I can see that AOR. So let's go to blowers and you can see that AOI is right here, right? So I can see how big uh, the AOI is, how it functions. Um, there is a PDF on how that works, but um, again, when it comes down to it, the goal was to get these to respond. And that's just registering that EDS file like you just saw, it actually populates. It does take a, a minute to do so. So, you know, just keep in mind, you have to be a little bit patient. It's not gonna do it right then. Uh, because it is updating your your file you may have to even close your your, your file and reopen it but now I have the ability to actually use that and open up the the basically the add-on profile and be able to edit that now I can just set my IP address I can set my data uh, upgrade my data types I can come over here and change I mean there's very limited things I can do with this but it is very helpful because I can set my IP address and make it match in my PLC and uh, to the actual field device, right? So that's a very, uh, very helpful tool. You can change stuff. You can change your, your data type or your data uh, being sent. Um, I'm not gonna get into upgrade data types. Um, that's just, uh, again, when it comes down to it, 
Um, this is a short video on how to import a EDS file using RS Links um, as a uh, the portion or the tool to actually do that. Again, we go to RS Links and we go to uh, EDS file hardware. Um, hardware installation tool. Now that's going to be used for just about any EDS file you need to add to your 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 computer, laptop, whatever you're using. Um, and that goes to again, we all don't have the same version of everything. We all have different versions, and things progress. So you need to have tools like this to be able to import and be able to upgrade the EDS file because sometimes you can't just right click and like you can't just right click and update the eds file because in this case it's a proprietary thing from a vendor so therefore there is no just right clicking and updating and in some of rockwell's actual own devices do not have that ability so you have to go to their website download it then put it on your your computer and then use this tool then you'll be successful so with that said hopefully you learned a lot from this video um, again, the goal is to spread and help you grow with your career. Hopefully this did help you and we will see you guys on the next.